we are too long accustomed to hardship. I am not preaching or talking about anything to do with laziness. I am pointing to only that which is effortless, because it is always perfect. It is important for a human being to know that there is something perfect. It is important in the human kingdom, in our kingdoms, to know that at the heart of our universe is the truth. That inside here, your ultimate truth cannot be a shame. It cannot be some kind of person. You see, it must be the divine is here. Then why is it that it feels like it cannot be found? And this you must find out. When this question arises inside you, something will take you to satsang. Something will take you to satsang. If there are no human beings there to take you, a frog will take you to satsang. <laughs> you'll fall down, fall out of a tree, and you'll have satsang. Something is going to take you to the thing that you need to know, to the voice that you need to hear. It will take you. When that urge arises in you, I need to find the one who cannot betray me. Your own inner Satguru. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. Nobody has to change their religion. Anybody can come to this satsang because it's nothing about religion. Something is there before religion. Religion was made for man, not man was made for religion. Mankind. I said before, Christ was not a Christian. Buddha was not a Buddhist. If you want to find the truth, you must find the living one. And don't just follow the followers. Find the original, the living one. It is the only true thing. And he is spirit and truth. And in every age, it is here, alive, and available. Even if there is no other human beings on the planet, if your heart searches for the truth, it will find it. Because truth cannot be exhausted, it cannot come to an end. My good news to you, if you are willing to look beyond just the personal identities, you will never taste death. You will never taste it. Because your truth is that you are life, not merely living life. You are life itself, and the weakness of life. I don't ask people merely to believe. Because the truth is not far that you should have to believe, you can actually confirm for yourself. Bodies will die, minds will change, but the unchanging is eternal. Bodies come and go, mind come and go, but the eternal is timeless and cannot come and go. And the opportunity is, while this body is warm, <coughs> find the undying. While there is time, find the timeless. That is called making use of time. The 
that no one is here to apologize for your existence. You are not here to apologize for your existence. You are here to make known the glory of God, to make evident that the truth is revealed, to remove what is false, to see through the untrue, and to be confirmed as the true. When you know these things, the whole superstructure of concepts will lose their might and their power. Because the truth is beyond the concept. It is not a feeling, it is not a concept, it is not thought. But all these dance in it. But it is incomparable, immeasurable, undying, immutable, unchanging forever. And may that understanding never fade from the human kingdom, because it is our life. It is greater than our breath itself to know these things. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. No.